Here the bill, Mr. Gosar. The gentleman from Arizona is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 470, the Hoover Power Allocation Act of 2011. Hoover Power is a vital power resource for the consumers in the states of Arizona, California, and Nevada, as well as over 29 million people who rely on this clean, renewable source of energy. Hydroelectric power from the Hoover Dam was first allocated by Congress in 1928 and has been allocated by Congress ever since. The current power contracts expire in 2017. It is important this body pass a new allocation now to ensure the continued availability and reliability of Hoover Power to the citizens of my state and those of California and Nevada. The version of this legislation this body is considering today reflects years of thorough negotiation. It includes provisions that address issues that were raised in the 111th Congress by the Intertribal Council of Arizona and the Western Area Power Administration. Because of that, the bill has garnered strong bipartisan support within the Arizona House delegation and at the grassroots level. I would like to address the concerns expressed by the Arizona Statewide Cooperatives Association. I personally met with representatives of the association in an attempt to address their concerns. In those meetings, it became clear the only way to address their concerns would be to overturn existing Arizona state law. I encouraged them to take their charge to the state level and, com and committed to facilitate the initial meeting if they so desired. However, I have consistently maintained that it would be inappropriate for Congress to incorporate language that would pre-exempt Arizona state law in this legislation. I would also like to point out that the Arizona co-ops have an opportunity under this legislation to re receive Hoover Power going forward. H.R. 470 creates a pool of 103 megawatts that will be allocated to eligible entities, including rural electric cooperatives and federally recognized Native American tribes. In addition, the Salt River Project has committed in writing to backstop up to three megawatts of power for Arizona co-ops should they not receive an allocation through this specific provision. Let me remind those, 22% of the population in my district is tribal. This would be a wonderful means of having a vested interest in energy sector. This would also be a, a great diversity in, in their portfolio of the tribes in the energy sector. Again, I rise in support of my friend Dr. Heck's legislation, H.R. 470, and encourage my colleagues to vote yes. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time.